All right, hey, Liz, welcome back. We're back in Black Ops 6 campaign, of course, and uh, previously we accidentally crashed again, uh, the game, rather, and uh, it was unfortunate, but it's fine. We're just heading straight back to this uh, scud launcher down here, and yeah, let's, uh, let's finish the last little objective here, and then we can probably go into the next mission. I'm assuming it's, uh, this is the last bit. It's been a pretty long one, though, for sure. Might as well take him out. Why not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already took out everyone in this little area as well, so we should be good here. Just gotta be careful not to destroy a vehicle too much. <laughs> I've been doing a great job at that. <clears throat> but yeah, we've taken out most of the dudes over here as well. Just not all of them. Let me not go down here. Let's go up here. Oh, hello. Oh, this one's not silenced. That's the main thing, I guess, right? That's okay, though. Oh shoot, that's the wrong one. It's okay though. There we go. Is that everyone? Nope, a couple more guys somewhere. Alright, that should be it. Um, <clears throat> let's do the stealth bomber though, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> oh yeah, we've still got several guys actually we gotta take out, that's fine. Yeah, looks like our boys got us covered as well. That's nice. Where? Oh, some dude right here. Okay. Nice. I think it was a double. Two for one. We love bullet penetration. That's not a hit, I guess. Oh, nice. Mind if I do? Alright, that's most of them, but not all of them. Let's also get this guy's money as well. That we killed earlier. Somewhere around here. Done. 
go. There it is. You can have the honor of informing Gladney in person. All right, sounds good. Well, let's uh, let's head it over. Think we're good to go. I don't think we missed anything, but possibly. All right, let's talk to him. You finally take care of those scuds, sir. Yes, sir. Impressive. Now that's out of the way. If you're ready to move on that palace, I'll notify my men. We go in now. We go in with what we have. You sure? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'll give the word. I think. Let's go. Right, <laughs> oh shoot. Alright. Straight into it, I guess, huh? Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do a chopper gunner. Tactical weapons, why not? Yeah. I think that probably got both of them. Any more dudes? Like there's still more dudes. Oh, my bad. Hello. What was that? Throwing knife? Oh, we're full on it, I think. Oh, shoot. My bad. What's this? Emma refill. like the AK-74, not gonna lie. It's a pretty good weapon.
Oh, my bad. Who else is there? Pretty much everyone, didn't we? That's it, bunker door ahead. Where's the money that guy may have dropped? Oh shoot. Uh oh, I might die to this grenade. Alright, nice, we got him. Did I get the money? Yeah, I did. Alright, I should get some ammo refilled real quick to be honest guys. Um where was it? Search the bunker. Yeah yeah, give me two seconds. I just need to ammo refill. Um You know what? Never mind. Oh 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 here we go. Nice. Oh and some armor plates, sweet. Yeah, let me put one in and then I'll take one more. Okay. I'm good. Let's go, let's go. Oh, they're already in. Right, grenades, okay. This better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Here. Good oh. God. Saddam's hoarding the Change your three two, ready to yeah. engage. This gold toilet's worth that much. Oh sweet, is there money around here? Maybe that was the only bit of it. I'll take it though. Nice. This is very dark. Clear. What the hell happened in here? Biohazard cabinet. Must be the demonstration allow I mentioned. How about that hard case there? Check it out. Okay. Let me <laughs> case get it. Alright, cool. I think we checked everything. Panthing has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too? A sample of it, based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. And some notes, all in Russian. Projects headed by Matvi Gusev. Ooh, he's not using his glasses. Norm. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? Little no. floppy disk? According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. American? Alright, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. Alright, let's go. You get what you wanted? Not exactly. But we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Alright, sounds good. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Oh, just kidding. Unavailable. See the rope. Let's do it. Oh, that was nice and quick. Rooftops clear. Pantheon Elo's incoming. Jackal 1 
one. You've got an enemy bird to the east. Tango's on the ground approaching your position. Copy that! Let's give them what we got! We've got a stash of weapons over here. Need air support. Alright, yeah, sure. Well, why not? Oh, we can't. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe this one? Inbound. If they're all grouped close enough, this should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. Oh, shoot. There's more. Chopper gunner unavailable, alright. Need this RPG again. Ouch. Alright, nice. I think that's most of them. Let's get out of here, huh? We're in town one. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, Park was in Cold War, wasn't she? I think. The Pantheon has a biological weapon. The papers we found in their bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goosey, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon? What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Sarah about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. I told her to look into Livingston. All right. You think something's <clears throat> happened to her? Too bad, it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me and Kay stateside? I'd consider it. Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. He should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, Chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it, 
and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve as buffer fish? <laughs> uh, you said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to leaving. All right. <clears throat> Looks like we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna check out our upgrades real quick because I think we did. Yeah, we got a pretty good amount of money from that. Those couple missions or so, so that's really good. Um, reload to weapon faster is definitely gonna be big. That's gonna be fully upgraded. Let's go. Um, weapon recoil is gonna be really nice as well. Let's reduce that. I love less recoil. Uh, let's do. Honestly, the magazine I'm not that worried about right now. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Armor shredder could be useful. Focal length by 30%. Okay, that's interesting. More ammo for dropped weapons. That's nice, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, sway when using a scope by 10%. Uh, that's okay, but not really exactly what I'm looking for. Using heavy weapons. I mean, that, yeah, that's pretty nice. Truth serum. Not enough cash. Okay. So I guess you can unlock these for multiplayer and Warzone if you unlock them through the campaign here, but they cost a lot, so I don't know about that one. Um, fire spread, damage to armored enemies, I guess. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? Let's do an additional magazine, sure. And let's check out some of the other stuff real quick. Uh, enemies hit by disruptor, expendable equipment. All right, two plates instead of three. Pick up nearby armor plates automatically. That's nice. Armor plates one-handed. That's really nice too. Cook grenades no longer explode in your hand. That's kind of nice. Um, training area: increase your total health, boost damage taken by explosives, reduce movement penalties. Okay. Reduce pain flinch. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, gung ho. Okay. Value of cash drops by elites. Ooh, that, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. It's a pretty health boost. What else is there? Is that it for that one? I'll do the this one, I think. That seems like it would be a good idea. This is pretty nice, too, actually. Go look at that, and then... Um, armor slots to two, maybe? That could be a, a decent idea. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do armor slots to two, so we can have more armor on hand. All right, cool. That's some pretty good upgrades so far. And uh, let's talk to everyone, and then I think I'll end the episode there. Do me a favor and check on Felix, will you? Felix, okay. What's up, Woods? Not in the mood right now. Okay, okay, chill. Case. Need something before we go? Uh, still mad at Marshall? What? Over the Iraq thing? Please. Not worth the energy. Contrary to Marshall's manly sensibilities, I could have helped. But you made it back alive, so... You plan on leaving after you get paid? Oh, that's not fair. I need to generate revenue case. Taking down Avalon's crime factions isn't cheap. Don't get me wrong. You have a noble pursuit. But it isn't my fight. I'm not American. Don't have a misguided sense of patriotism like Marshall over there. <laughs> Adler wasn't paying you to destroy Avalon's pat factions. Adler's only interested in whatever connections Avalon has to the Pantheon, if any. He could care less about my own mission, or anyone else's for that matter. Don't expect any bleeding heart behavior from him. Where did you go to the to or where did you go the other night? A very long ten miles down the mountain, to the nearest town. Rustic, you might call it. Place was depressing, but I hate having nothing to do, and I wasn't keen on being cooped up here with woods. All right, that's all for now. Of course. <clears throat> Ooh. It was a savvy play on someone's part to frame me for the Panama fiasco last year. A topic on everyone's mind. A mole inside Langley that gift wrapped our best operatives for the Nicaraguan drug lord. Menendez. The papers incriminating me turned up at the exact time I 
start an investigation into the Pantheon. Someone wanted me gone in a hurry. Well, mission accomplished. For now. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, oh, we got some old stuff here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyways, I think we're supposed to talk to our boy here, Felix. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you've come to help. What are you making? Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. And I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew, shall we? Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought you don't didn't do violence. I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life, you believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt. Mm, it's to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Uh, but you have killed before in the past. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs uniformed as... I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. So what does that make us? I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps this is why I prefer computer systems. Ones and zeros. However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. What's the problem with the disk? Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it, but the truth is I am stumbling in the dark at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. What do you think is on the disk? Mm. Considering where you found it, the logical assumption is that it holds data pertaining to a weaponized biological agent. Hmm. Or pornography. I'll leave you to your cooking. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to go. Um, thank you guys for watching. Gonna go ahead and end it here. I don't think there's anything else we need to check out before we head out. Um, we'll bust out of here soon. Yeah. Everything's on the board when you're ready. Okay, sweet. Yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and hit that the next time we come in here, and we'll continue on the next mission there. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.